Okay. I'm going to move myself back down here because now I need this space, right? Negative 3, 4 in Cartesian coordinates. We'll put that up here. Okay. Probably a little bit off scale, but that's all right. Um, and we're looking for this in polar form. Now, in order to consider this to be in polar form, we need two things, right? We need to know how far around are we going to get to here, right? So we're starting here on the polar axis. We're rotating around to get to this spot right here. So the angle from the very get-go, let's be clear, the angle that we need is this angle. This is theta. Never lose sight of that throughout this entire process, okay? But obviously, that's how we're going to find that. We're going to find that by using a reference angle over here, right? And some of these measurements that we know from the coordinates. So we know that this is negative 3. And if you're not one of my students and you happen to be watching this, because I am pretty popular on YouTube right now, um, know that we can't label geometric side lengths as negative, but I'm just doing this in context because that's going to make a big difference for what we get in the end. Okay. Uh, and, and the R value, which is the distance that this point is from the pole can be found using the Pythagorean theorem. This is a Pythagorean triple, even though this is negative three, we know that R is five. So let's get that out of the way. You can find that doing the Pythagorean theorem, but three, four, five is a triple. So, um, now in terms of finding theta, there's a formula. We have two formulas, right? The formulas are fine if you want to use the formulas. Here's how we can find R, and here's how we can find theta, okay? But I've been warning you about theta, and it's for reasons like this, okay? So um, if you want to just plug in the inverse tangent of 4 over negative 3, okay? Watch this. Uh, where are we at? Here we go. Um, when we go to the formula and we do the inverse tangent of 4 over negative 3, we get negative 53.13 degrees, okay? So um, backtrack for a second. What, what I would really like to do is set up a statement where the tangent of theta is equal to 4 over negative 3, and I would like to be able to use my knowledge of the unit circle to answer this. But, and that's what I would like for you guys as well, but this is not, these are not numbers that we see on the unit circle. So because those numbers are not numbers that we see on the unit circle, we can't use our understanding of that. You know, contrast that with, with what we did here. You know, this could be converted into negative radical 3 over 3. You should know what angles have a tangent value of negative radical 3 over 3, right? You should know how to find the cosine of 30 degrees. There are just certain angles that are associated and values that are associated with the unit circle that we should know. 4 and negative 3 is not one of them. OK, so I've told you not to trust this formula and that you need a picture for reasons like this. If we take the inverse tangent like we just did in Desmos and we get negative 53 degrees. OK, what was it? Negative 53.1. Yeah, we'll say 0.13. Is this angle negative 53 degrees? No. Right. And what did I say from the beginning? The angle in question is theta in what we would call standard position, right? Rotating from the polar axis all the way over to here. So why did this show up as negative? Because the angle terminates in quadrant two where tangent values are negative. So we can't just blindly trust the formula. We have to have a picture to give context to this question, okay? The negative 53 degree angle is this acute angle right, which is our reference angle. Reference angles are never pov uh, never negative, right, but we can see from this that the negative 53 degrees is this reference angle right here. So we're 53 degrees away from 180. So theta, which is supposed to be this angle, which is supposed to be in standard position, would be 180 minus 53.13. And that's 100 and we'll call that 126.87 degrees approximately. Okay. So the correct coordinates for this point are five comma, and we'll call it 126.9 rounded to the tenths place. Okay. So picture is extremely important. You can't just blindly trust the formula and plug in here what you want it because where's five, if you said theta is negative 53.13, 
negative 53 degrees is down here. That's not where this point is located. It's not located five units away from the pole along this line. It's located five units along uh, away from the pole along that line, right? So this would be an incorrect value if you put it in the polar coordinates with that five, all right? Draw a picture, don't trust the formula.